No. No. Away, sexy Timothy Oliphant. I have to talk about a show that's not justified. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Howdy, y'all. This is my review of Walker Episode 1, the pilot episode of Jared Padalecki's new series. Some of you were asking and hoping that I would watch this show, so I thought I would give the first episode a fair review and a fair watch. And I will admit it's not as bad as I worried it would be, but it is as kind of boring as I thought it would be. We are introduced to Jared Padalecki's new character that is not Sam Winchester, and I will give him a small credit. His character, Gordell Walker, is a little more high-strung, a little bit more embellished of himself, a little bit more Dean-ish, if we were to make any kind of comparison, but not full Dean-ish. He has a caring heart, but he also has what is necessary to be the character that he is. He is a war vet, so there is that kind of bravado slash unity slash um, kind of experience about him. In terms of his character, it's not groundbreaking. It is definitely not Timothy Oliphant's character from Justified. If you've never seen that show, it's one of the best shows I've ever watched, and the fact that I've never reviewed it is crime. It's freaking amazing. But he does have a few layers that are very welcome, considering the show that it's based on, Chuck Norris's show. I couldn't stand how boring it was. Chuck Norris would literally just kick the shit out of everyone, and no one could ever land in anything. Chuck Norris just beat the crap out of everyone every single episode, and I think I watched about three of them with my dad over the years, and I just thought, who likes this? This is so repetitive and boring. This show definitely has a little bit more to it than just crime procedural stuff if anything the cursory case at the beginning is so over and done with so fast that i kind of that was it you solved it that fast because while he is coming back from like 11th month undercover investigation thing he's also reconnecting with his family because he kind of took off after his wife mysteriously died 11 months ago who is actually Jared Padalecki's wife yes let's get that out of the way with the fact that she isn't a live character is something that I was a little bit worried if they would do that, but at the same time, this is a very overused trope. So I'm waiting to see how many times he's gonna see her as a ghost and talk to her and whatnot, but I guess, again, we'll see. But in the end, Walker isn't that bad. I like Jared's new character. I like the action sort of the episode. I like the witticism, but it is admittedly like a C plus version of Justified. If I do continue to review this show, which I'm still kind of up in the air about, like I'll be right up honest, I'm not 100% about that. I'm going to keep referring to this show because this show is just majestic. But it's a fairly well-made episode. It doesn't have any really big shortcomings other than being just kind of not that interesting and not spending a lot of time in one piece of story. It's hopping from different parts. It's introducing us to a lot of new characters. It's introducing us to this new way of life that isn't supernatural. Apparently the show did well in terms of viewership. It had some of the highest viewing numbers since The Flash premiered in season four or whatever so it's pretty decent we'll see what happens with episode two which comes out tomorrow but either way i'm gonna give this episode a four out of seven it's okay it's not stellar but it's not bad it's enjoyable but quite predictable but that's it for me what did you guys think did you guys watch the first episode or are you guys gonna watch this again i'm not gonna promise anything i can't promise i'll watch it because I am doing the Supernatural reviews and I would not much rather do that, but we'll see how the reception for this goes. My main thing is I don't want to watch this show just because Jared's in it. I want to watch it because I would enjoy it. So we'll see if that happens. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, take care now. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.